Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm showing this really dramatic, bold, smoky winged liner and I give you three lip options to go with it. This is actually a super simple look to try and recreate but it just looks very dramatic, really bold and quite cool as well. So if you'd like to see how I got to look then just keep watching. So I'm taking the Bournemouth Bay Concealer to act as my eye primer today. Then I go in with the Barry M Chisel Cheese Contour Kit, taking the powder shade just to set that in place. Then I'm going with Rodar Smoky Eye Pen. You want to take any kind of eye pencil or eye crayon for this, and you're using this to map out your winged liner. Now, for this, you just want to do whatever kind of shape suits you that you like to do or suits your eye shape or whatever that just makes it slightly easier so I'm just using it like I said just to map out where I want the thickness of the wing and kind of all that then I'm taking an angled brush it's actually an eyebrow brush from Real Techniques I'm taking this black eyeshadow from this Kiko palette I have I'm going over the top just making it slightly bolder and filling in any gaps So once you've kind of got your desired shape, you want to go in with a pencil brush. This is one from Kiko. And I have, although it looks like I have, it's just a very dirty brush. I'm taking no additional product on it. I'm just using it to smoke out and diffuse that winged liner. So I'm not taking it up as such. I'm just going back and forth along the line just to make it slightly softer to get that smoky effect. Then once that's done, I'm going on to the lower lash line. I'm taking this liquid eyeliner pen from Ico. You could use a liquid pen or um, gel liner would work and I'm just using this to shape out the tear duct I just thought it looks really nice if the whole eye is connected together and it just gives a bit more shape and structure to the eye as well Then I'm going back in with that Rodar eyeliner just to go along the lower lash line and I pop it into my waterline as well and I do actually tight line as well but for some reason I just didn't film that on camera. And then going back in with that pencil brush and adding some eyeshadow and just smoking that out so it's nice and smoky and diffused. It's up to you how much you want to do this, how low down you want to bring it depending on your preference so it's really up to you. And if you do think you've gone too far down, you could just take some a compad with some eyeliner remover and just go along underneath just to neaten up a bit. For the skin, I went with the Hourglass Stick in Alabasta, popping it on my skin. And I do go over the top with this MUA Fixing Mist. This just helps blend it out slightly easier. Also diffuses the coverage, so it's not as high coverage. And it gives a dewy finish as well to the foundation, which I really like. Um, so I'm taking my Iconic Evo 01 brush. I'm absolutely loving these brushes at the moment. I don't know if you can tell. I'm using them almost every video. And using this to blend out the foundation. So as you can see, it's not giving... I mean, it is giving a lot of coverage, but you can still see my freckles through it. And it has this really pretty glow to it, a nice dewy finish. I'm going back in with that Born This Way concealer, popping this under my eyes, down my nose, forehead and on my chin as well. And around my nose as well because I get quite a bit of redness around there. Then going with the Evo 03 brush to blend out the concealer. And you can also use the concealer to help neaten up if you feel like you need to under the eye. Then I'm using this collection of pressed powder in ivory just to set all the places that I've put concealer. 
like I always do because I like to keep the rest of the skin very nice and dewy. I'm sorry, I thought the powder smelled a bit strange, that's why I was doing that. <laughs> now I'm taking the middle shade from the Barium Chisel Cheats Contour Kit and just lightly contouring my skin. So my cheekbones, around the temples and forehead and also along the jawline as well. I actually didn't bronze up my skin today for once because I actually quite liked having my fair skin against this dramatic eye makeup. I thought it looked quite cool. So I just did some bit of contouring and no bronzing. Bronzering in fact. Now I'm taking this Makeup Revolution blusher in the shade Love which is a very pretty kind of nudie pink blusher and pop this on the apples of my cheeks. And then I went in with the Lily Lolo highlighter in champagne I believe it's called to highlight the tops of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose and of course the cupid's bow. And I love this highlighter, it just gives a really beautiful glow to the skin without there being any glitter. Then go back in with that fixing mist to set everything in place and then I realised that I hadn't added any mascara yet. Now actually you could leave it I think without the mascara but I did add some, it's the Kiko Maximal Mascara and I gave my upper and lower lashes a couple of coats. Um, I did just open up the eyes a bit more. Then for the three lip options, the first one was this Colourpop Ultra Matte Lipstick in Trap. It's a really pretty kind of nude colour. Then for the second lip option I went in with this Barry M lipstick in the shade 170. I absolutely love this lipstick, it's more of a purple kind of mauve colour. It just adds a pop of colour to the look. I think it's my favourite lip colour I've picked for the whole look. Or if you wanted to go extra dramatic you could go with the red lips. This is a sleek, um, I believe it's called Russian... Rare? No, it's Russian something. I'll leave it obviously leave, uh, listed down below. It's a beautiful deep red matte lipstick from Sleek and I thought it looks quite cool. So if you wanted something extra dramatic you could go with the red lip or you've got the options other two. To be honest this is a look you could put any lipstick with. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Thank you.